438, a homeless man arrested and charged with raping a woman near Belmont University. And today, Jason Williams will be in court for the very first time. Now, his capture, partly due to a South Nashville couple who chased them out of their home after he had been hiding in the crawl space. Scary situation here. We heard the fridge move underneath our feet. At that point, that's when I knew he's down there. There's no doubt about it. I have to, I have to find a weapon. So that's when Williams ran out of his hiding spot in the skipper's basement into the neighborhood street. And then Metro Council member and former Marine Mike Freeman spotted him. Now Freeman tells Fox 17 he jumped a fence and started chasing this wanted man. And I thought, I don't know if anybody else has seen him. I'm just going to chase after him and see if I can, you know, tell the cops at least which direction he went. So the whole neighborhood getting involved in this capture. Now, eventually police did catch up with Williams and took him into custody. Right now, there are more than 2000 homeless people living in Nashville and Williams reportedly one of those people. Now, south of the city, there's an effort to address this problem by putting in a village of 22 tiny houses on a church property for the homeless. However, neighbors who live close to this proposed site on East Thompson Lane, also the area where Williams was found, are greatly opposed. So tonight there will be a community meeting for people to address their concerns, which range from property values to crime and safety. That meeting is at 7 o'clock at the Arlington United Methodist Church on Murfreesboro.